There are no more roses at my door. No more love songs, no more calls. I'm not waiting. Christine, xin trân trọng kính chào quý khán thính giả của đài truyền hình SBTN và xin chào mừng quý vị vào chương trình Heart to Heart. Thưa quý vị, trong chương trình của chúng tôi hôm nay, Christine đã mời một một người phụ nữ mà đã vượt qua một cuộc một cuộc ly dị khá nhiều tai tiếng. Thưa quý vị. Christine cảm thấy đây là một cái um, cơ hội rất là may mắn cho Christine để ngồi xuống và tâm sự với cô ấy. À, thưa quý vị, Christine xin xin phép trình chiếu buổi tâm sự của Christine với cô Kathy Việt Thi. We around that we performed martial arts, and I was out there performing. And he noticed me, and I guess uh, probably a couple of weeks later, he befriended me, um, asked me out, and um, I think at that time I said no. <laughs> But eventually we met. Um, his my girlfriend was dating one of his friends, and um, we ended up hanging out together. And I wasn't attracted to him. <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, I wasn't physically attracted at all, but he was a nice guy, and because we both love martial arts, that's where it, we got along. Mm. I was, that's what happened. How old were you then? Oh wow, you were young then, huh? You ninety-five, nineteen ninety-five. I was like eighteen, nineteen, somewhere around there. <laughs> young, yeah. We got married. In, we got engaged. You no, know, we got married year 2000, the millennium. So five years after that. Yeah, five six years. Yeah, somewhere. So in your early 20s. Yeah, in my early 20s. Um, yeah, that's. So we were together for about six years, and then married for about another six years. Yeah, so a total of 12. Do you ever think back about it anymore? Um. Yeah, I do. I do think back. I do think back, and I think, what if I we had tried harder? If and if we were, if we could still be together, how would it be for Haley and Taylor? I think about. Yeah, I think about. It's all about them. I think about them all the time. So I always think, if I did work out, it would be for them anyways. I mean, the reason why we're we're talking about the past in your love story is because we know that there was there was a separation, there was a divorce, um, there was a public divorce, because uh, as we know, Johnny um, D or Minty, how many men go? We could call him Johnny. Everybody knows him by Johnny now. Uh, Johnny Ting Wing, yeah. right? Um, that he is with someone else. Yes, he is. And he is his and he is publicly with someone else. Yes, with his co-star. With his co-star. Um, when that happened, may I ask you, how how did you feel? I told him that I knew, and um, and if he loved her, if he truly loved her, and he told me he did, and right then I said, okay, let's get a divorce, because how can you fight for someone to love you when he doesn't love you? You love somebody else. I'm not gonna. I want you to love me for me. And if you can't love me for me, then why fight? I don't want to fight for love. I want you to love me. You know? Also, it's been a little time, years of some struggles before yeah, that. It was struggles before because there was other infidelities. From on his side, and I try to forgive him, and I, and I, he was trying for the first for after after I found out, I found out in 2005 uh, that there were other situation, other woman, mm -hmm. and um, I. He said he was sorry, and of course, he's the love of my life, so I f forgave him, but you can't. Forget. No, you no, can't. Um, yeah. So, sorry. Sorry. And if we meet one another, so 
let me try to make it work. After the song. Just to make it, think, make it clear, I'm not in love with him anymore. I don't, um, I wish we could, we're friends, but we're, we're not. We don't even talk. Um, so it's just basically me and the girls, the three musketeers. We call each other the three musketeers. So. Well, you know, that sounds, it sounds like it has its own romance. Yeah. You and the girls. <laughs> Knowing what you know now, having married fairly early, uh, do you think there would be a message that you'd send to, I guess, girls about, about love, about marriage? I don't want to say to the, okay, I, I really, I had a feeling you might ask me something like this, and I kind of thought, what can I say to girls out there? There isn't much I can say. I mean, I can say a lot. But whether you listen to my advice or not, that's up to you. Um, I tell my sisters all the time, going, having been through what I've been through, and they've seen me suffer, I always say, your career first, you first. Concentrate on what you want first. And then the love thing, it'll come. And if he does love you, he'll hold out. I really appreciate you coming and talking about this. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird talking about it because it's been it's been a while, and I kind of let I, I just want it to be out of sight, out of mind, you know, kind of thing. But you know, you kept, you kept asking me, so I was like, <laughs> okay, let's talk about it, uh, and hope that it's it's a positive message to girls out there. That's that's. Uh, I hope so too. Yeah, that's the only thing I want to come out of this is that it's a positive message to girls that that things like this do happen. And I think you're a prime example that things happen and you can still be fine. And more than fine actually. More than fine. Ngày đây là lời cuối ta trao cho người.